Modern vehicles have come a long way since the dawn of the electronic age. Up until the 70s, the most electronically advanced system in the vehicles would have been its radio, with all aspects of the vehicle systems being controlled through physical influences. For example, the car's windows were manually controlled by turning handles, and in the engine, the carburetor valves controlled airflow to create an air-fuel mixture when the driver pressed the accelerator pedal. Modern cars now use advanced electronic systems for all aspects of the car's operation. From the engine control unit, which helps to maximize efficiency and performance, to any number of electronic control units, which can control and monitor everything from the car's electric windows to its rear windscreen heater. Whatever the functionality, these units are often described with the acronym ECU. Each of these ECUs are separate control subsystems which interact and communicate with each other over a variety of automotive communication buses. Most commonly, the Controller Area Network Bus or CAN Bus. This network makes the driver aware of any issues that may arise during the vehicle's operation, such as letting the driver know if they need to check the oil levels, whether the indicator lights are out, or even in the latest systems, if the tyre pressures are getting low. To ensure all of these subsystems will perform as expected and guarantee the vehicle's safety, extensive testing is required on even the simplest ECUs. The unit you see here controls the lights on a trailer. However, there are a variety of considerations such as safety, availability and cost. These make it impractical to perform all of the tests using a complete system. To overcome these impracticalities, a hardware-in-the-loop real-time simulation, also known as HIL, can be used. The purpose of HIL test is to provide the electrical signals needed to simulate the real-world system the ECU will be connected to. This allows you to test the inputs and the outputs of the ECU and its response to different stimuli and the faults in system. An HIL test system consists of three main components, a real-time processor, I.O. connections and an operator interface. The real-time processor provides the deterministic execution of the test system components, such as a hardware communication and high-frequency model execution. This is necessary to provide an accurate simulation of the real-world environment. The I.O. connections are signals that interact with the unit under test, whether these are analog, digital or bus messages. The final part is the operator interface. This provides the real-time processor with commands to control the test procedure, user interface and data logging. NIVeriStand is a software environment used for constructing real-time tests, which is a commercial off-the-shelf product that allows you to configure a real-time engine for a variety of different applications. Veristand controls the whole HAL system from the operator interface down to the hardware NI Veristand's real-time test application typically consists of one or more real-time execution target that communicates with the host. Each target runs the NI Veristand engine, which is configured from a Windows-based host system. Once the engine is configured and deployed, you can use the runtime editable user interface to interact and monitor the system. NI Veristand can be customized and extended using a variety of software environments such as NI LabVIEW and C, C++. NI Veristand can import simulation models from a variety of modeling environments, including Simulation X from ITI, LabVIEW, and the MathWorks Incorporated Simulink software. Another important aspect of an HAL test is the hardware software integration. Veristand allows for direct communication with automotive buses such as CAN, LIN, and FlexRay. NIXNet Database Editor is a free integrated software that allows you to view and edit the automotive bus databases. To develop a thorough HAL system, both stress and conformance tests must be completed. This is achieved through the use of hardware fault insertion unit to create signal faults between the ECU and the rest of your system to characterize or check the behavior of the device under different fault conditions. To further automate your test system, you can use NITestAnd.